Hi, I'm Xavier Saunders and this is my Sedra vlog. This week's Sedra is Pasha's Pinchos. It starts with the Torah telling us the reward that Pinchos received for having killed Kozak. He was given the blessing of becoming a Kohen, a priest. He was the only Levi who ever got elevated to the status of a Kohen. He was not a Kohen before and God rewarded him. We're also told that Elion Novi was at Pinchos and he attends every single bris, every single circumcision. The Sedra then goes on to tell us that the Jews were counted once again. They were about to go into the land of Israel. They had all the plagues in the desert. God wanted to know exactly how many people there were. There were certain tribes that were more decimated than others. Then we are told about the division of the land of Israel. All those between the ages of 20 and 60 were entitled to a portion of land. Then the daughters of Tzalafon had no brothers and they complained, it's not fair, why should we not get an inheritance? in our fathers who died's land. So God came to Moses and said, yes, you are right, they should get their own special land. And they got a special portion in the land of Israel along with other men. And the Torah tells us that any other woman who has no other brothers is entitled to an inheritance. Then Moshe Rabbeinu was told to go up the mountain, view Israel, because he would not go into Israel, as we learned a few weeks ago, and he begged God to appoint a successor. Moshe, Moses, was hoping that his own son would be appointed successor, but no. He appointed Yehoshua, Joshua, his loyal servant, disciple, he became the leader. God told him to allow him to judge the people in Moses' lifetime, to give him credence that even when Moshe was alive, he would be able to judge. The Sedra finishes with all the various extra musopim, extra korbanos that were offered on the various different festivals. I think there's an interesting message in this week's Sedra. Moshe was the greatest leader of them all. The Jews are a very holy nation. Yet he still begged God, don't leave the nation of Jews like sheep that have no shepherd. So I think we can learn a valuable lesson in leadership. Everybody needs a leader. No matter how great you are, no matter how amazing you are, there always has to be one person who leads. People need leadership, they need authority, you need one person in charge to make the decisions. So hopefully, if we can take upon ourselves a leader, a rabbi, somebody of authority to help us and guide us through our lives, our lives will be enriched because of it.